This is ground turkey. Jewelry. You have to become one with the turkey. I've actually gotten in chicken versus turkey arguments, and believe me, turkey is far superior to chicken in general. I like chicken, but it just, turkey's just a better bird. It's that simple. I fuck with turkey all year round. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Mayhem Loren in the building. The turkey meatloaf is kind of simple. We got some fresh garlic, rosemary, thyme, sage, little poultry seasoning, salt, cayenne pepper. I don't cook anything without cayenne. We have an alliance. Ketchup, brown mustard, breadcrumbs, egg, celery, a little duck bacon to put on top. We'll talk about that later. We have a Spanish onion, a Latin onion, a merengue onion. You buy these in the Heights, uptown only. Let's go. I feel so safe with all these knobs behind me. No one's doing a loaf heist in here, I'll tell you that. First, we're gonna chop this onion. You know, we're gonna split this onion. All my techniques are just like big hacks, you know what I mean? Like, like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a trained professional. I'm home taught, and it's all about the end result. I learned how to chop onions in Elmhurst. Junior high school street wars. Next step is the carrots. I'm not, I'm not really a peeler guy, you know, like, I'm kind of like, I cook with minimal tools. One knife, one fork, one spoon, one tray. Like, I, why mix this in a bowl and then put it in whatever tray I'm cooking it in? Like, we'll go right and do that right, right off the rip, you know what I mean? Right from the start. You know what, maybe I do only need one carrot, huh? We don't need to oversaturate this with carrot. This isn't carrot loaf, this is turkey loaf, you know? Celery. Gotta watch my little fingers. Give myself an accidental manicure. We don't want that. I don't know if this is two, three, one. I'm just, I'm just here cutting things, and, you know? The end result will be amazing, that's it. That's my general philosophy for life. Just rock, eye it, pray a little, and it'll work out, you know? Me and Garlic have a special relationship. Some would say I overdo it, but you can't really tell me what to do with my loaf. We're gonna go one more. Like, oh my god, five cloves of garlic. That's what you need. You have a cup, you have a mug. This is my garlic technique for home. This is, this is what we do. You break it before you cut it. Just makes life easier. You just learned something. This is jewelry right here. This is kitchen jewelry. So you can see the world's most dangerous chopping technique once again. You gotta control the knife. Never let the knife control you. You control the knife, you heard? It's the best thing to cook with because after you cook, you simply throw it out. You don't have to do dishes. You cook. One and done. You mix everything in here, you cook everything in here, and truth be told, if no one's in the house, you can eat right out of here. It's, it's a perfect thing. This is ground turkey. Four pounds. You have to become one with the turkey. Throw in your poultry seasoning. That's the cayenne. You know we need a little kick to it. I forget anything but the cayenne. I leave my ID at home, I leave my passport before I go to the airport. I'm not forgetting the cayenne. Cayenne is something you don't forget. Throw a little more salt in. Some breadcrumbs right here. It just adds to the texture of the loaf. I generally hate ketchup, but it's a great ingredient in this recipe. Mustard. Mustard is essential. Brown mustard. You ever bring me a bowl of mustard that resembles a Simpson? I don't even want to see it. We like brown mustard. Spicy brown mustard. Cranberries. This is an alteration. Generally when I make the loaf, I don't have cranberries in it, but it's Thanksgiving, so we need cranberries. Rosemary. Chop that rosemary up a little finer. Nobody wants a big piece of rosemary in their mouth, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta chop that up fine. Time, fresh time. You don't like to rush thing, like you like to take your time with time, no, no, no pun intended. Fresh sage. We don't ever put a knife to sage. We rip it and distribute it evenly. I gotta talk about shrimp too, even though this video has nothing to do with shrimp, I need to clear my name a little bit. This shrimp thing has gotten way out of hand. I walk down the street, people are hanging out the window, hey shrimp, you love shrimp? Where's the shrimp at? Mayhem, I got shrimp. Let me explain something to you. Just by chance on FTD, I ate a lot of shrimp. I'll take crab or scallop over shrimp any day. Shrimp is in third place. I don't just love shrimp. They're cool, I like them, but it's deeper than that. Respect my ocean knowledge. Don't just think, oh, I found a shrimp and fell in love. Like, it's a lot deeper than that. All right, drop this garlic in. Just drop everything in there. This is, this is, where, this is where it starts to get fun. Throw in your eggs. 
This is when you get your hands dirty. This is the fun part. If you're not really down to put that work in, this loaf life isn't for you. And as I cook by eye, I'm gonna dump more cayenne in here and a little more poultry seasoning. And perhaps some more rosemary too. I'll need to see some more rosemary in here. I like like a red, a red orange color loaf, you know what I mean? A little more cayenne. Add a little more time to it. My plate's like a kaleidoscope, a rainbow on acid. We're just gonna mash that in, you know what I mean? I don't need I don't need a full mix. This is like a you know put a good handprint in the middle. I might pers that's another thing for Thanksgiving. You could personalize this. You could put a good handprint in the middle, and by doing that, look at this. It looks like a turkey or a hand. All right, time for the duck bacon. Turkey and duck is good. It's a good match, like a match made in heaven. Who's to say you can't have two birds at the same time? You know, duck fat really just brings this all together. That's, that's what puts this over the top. You just try to cover it. You know. Distribute it evenly, as even as possible. There's a little gap or a space, it is what it is, you know. Don't jump out the window. And right now we have the, the oven preheated at 375. We're gonna throw this in, in seconds. Then I'm gonna go chill, make a couple phone calls, do about six jumping jacks, two squats, eight and a half push-ups, and make a little room, burn some calories so I could eat this. A little green on top, it looks good, it's for the camera, you know. Oven is preheated to 375 and we're gonna throw this in. About 45 minutes. Towards the end, I'm gonna turn it up a little bit just to crispen that duck bacon on top. Let that chill, let it sit on the top rack, you know. I'll be back in about 40 minutes. It's about that time to open the oven and explore my creation. Oh my. Forget about how it looks, how does it smell? The aroma permeating the room is priceless. Fresh parsley, garnish purposes. Making a glaze of sorts, really simple. Can of cranberry sauce, add a little cranberry juice, break that up, it's done. It's whisked. You don't need a spatula when you have a knife that looks like this. When you got a good cleaver in your hand, it's like a two for one special. Aw, oh, here we go. I like to eat art. I'm gonna drop a little stuffing on top of this. Stuffing that just mysteriously appeared. We won't even get into that. And here we have Thanksgiving on a plate. Oh. Damn, this is, this is art right here. I almost don't want to eat this. I might have to quit my day job. Look at this. You gotta cut that duck bacon. You can't eat the whole piece. That's crazy. Happy Thanksgiving. See you later. I love you.